people donated than I thought. He plays Potemkin. That's already something dumb. Yeah, exactly. He's used to it. All right, so here, here it is, winner's finals. Man, I've seen my man Toki all over the place. I tuned in to a, a Guilty Gear player stream the other day. It was Mike Ross on Twitch. Yeah. And I saw him playing against Toki, and Mike was playing Potemkin. Oh, man. And I just saw this wild read on Wake Up DP backdash uh, SPD, and I was like, let's go. <laughs> let's go, <laughs> Michael Ross. The backdash pop buster was pretty buff. Oh. I hope Mike Ross picks up these DP habits from Toki, right? Yeah, Toki's DPs are wild. Yeah, he's not afraid to make you very afraid of that DP. Nice, getting that space to just air dash out. Toki having a full screen advantage as well. And of course, the full axle, long normals and specials to completely control the space. And when you have your opponent at just a pixel of life like that. It's so difficult to try to get in and make something happen against Axel because even when you do get in, he has that fantastic DP to get you off. Right, exactly. And if you're ever above Toki, first of all, he's going to clip those angles. But second of all, he's going to low profile your jump attacks, right? So he's going to make it tough for you to get in and keep up that pressure. And I've been informed in chat that Octo pours his milk before the cereal. Come on, man. Attempt good player. Don't, don't say stuff like that. Come on, man. I was having a good day. Everything was going a-okay. -okay. No, if I have to know about this, you have to know about this. I don't want to know about anything. What I know about is Toki's corner pressure here. It's the YRC runs in, looking for it, just taking all this offense. Oh, oh counter hit. Yeah, burst that. Not only was it a counter hit, but the guard bar was cranked. There's going to be some additional damage. Yeah, at that point, you sort of just deal with uh, losing your burst. You accept the situation, you escape the corner. Exactly. And the burst connected, so not the end of the world. All right, setup gets the hit, and that'll be the round. Toki uh, didn't opt to spend burst there. Oh, holding on to it was more relying on his wit and his DPs to get him out of the corner situation. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just have to deal with it. Wow, run up FD, stops. Looking uh, to see what Hurst is going to do there. Just a clean jump in. <laughs> yeah. Just actually, I'm going to tell you right now, as a as a new Guilty Gear player, <laughs> I have learned. This. Yeah, I've actually learned that regular jump is broken. Regular it actually jump. needs to be nerfed. It's because so everybody expects jump back, air dash, right, or jump forward, air dash, yeah. or double jump, right, or super jump. But just normal jump, broken. <laughs> needs nerfing, dude. <laughs> it's so hard to answer here. You're never ready for just regular jump, right? Oh, like what kind of Neanderthal doesn't do something in the air? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're Try to come down with a normal button in a Guilty Gear game? It's so weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it. Oh, both players end up trading, but Hirsch finds that last billiard ball to teleport to. Very good awareness. Togi still has his burst as well as Hirsch. Oh, Here brutal. Togi runs up. The burst barely yeah. connected. That was that worked out okay for Hirsch, and now he's got to jump in because of it. Togi's still on burst, though. Oh. And there it is. Yeah, spins it defensively. It worked out, and now we're pretty much even here, but Axel... Got the advantage in neutral. Oh, no anti air. Oh, he doesn't finish the job. And the DP, of course, as soon as you give Toki that gap. Match two. Brutal. Yeah, runs up on him. Thinks he's going to flex. One final mix up is all he needed. And that's the time where people are going to bust out the uppercut, you know? Yeah, try the air dash setup. Toki with the DP again. Whoa. All right, whiff burst. Uppercuts after. He's playing the video game. Sometimes you gotta live your life like that, you know? Yeah, getting his opponent caught in the lights. You know how it is. Hirsch is gonna have to fight his way out of the corner, which he does. Gets the knockdown setup as well. Following up with the billiard balls. Toki, YRCs, just to keep himself safe. Oh, yeah, the blitz. He blocks the burst. We've, there's been a burst in that situation before, so Toki recognized. All right, YRC air dashes in for pressure. Yeah, we saw a similar life lead in the very first round, right? It's so difficult for Hirsch to get anything going once Toki has this positioning advantage. And now we're going to see oh, the danger time cancel brutal. from Toki and recognizing the danger time specific combo right there, getting the dash under to get the corner situation just in case it didn't care. My man was ready. Those purple jorts were all warmed up. Just got in at the right angle, ran all the way under. And oh, that yeah. was brutal. There's not a lot you can do there. Uh-oh. All right, gets the empty low. It's time Toki with the block. Jumps out but still gets clipped by the ball. I guess get gets counter hit low after recovering in the air as well. Taps him on the dome with the carcass raid. Oh, and Toki with that uppercut challenge again. Runs up, finds more offense for himself. No counter hit, so no combo. Yeah. All right, air dash is good. He's going to take the knockdown into setup here. Yeah, I'm not sure if Toki just trying to wake up. With an instant block and this time that or what, but Hirsch, all the momentum in his corner. Yeah, YRC had allowed him to get the air throw, which started this pressure. <laughs> Escapes yeah. out of the corner, runs in off the YRC. Passing like ships in the night. Neither character getting touched, but oh. again, Toki put himself back in the corner only to DP himself out. 
But we'll try to cancel off of that. Not in time. The wire sees it, runs up. Toki with damage. He's not out of this round just yet, but Hirsch is on burst now. Yeah. Runs up, looks for the throw, and he up backed it. Up back, and then the jump normal billiard coming down. Toki leaning forward in his chair after that. I don't think he liked that one. No. Nah. Yeah, when you try to run up FD and you want that throw, right, and you just whiff your H like that, it feels brutal. A lot of whiff recovery on it. Oh, with teleports oh, in place. That's what I'm talking about. Base the DP that time, but Toki ends up getting the gold burst. Yeah, all kinds of meter to work with because of it. Oh, oh, yep, off the RC. He could see the burst coming, so he was able to block it and get the appropriate punish. Toki in good positioning now. Yeah, and Gold Burst is gold the best burst. comeback mechanic you can ask for, right? Allowed him to get that RC to bait out the burst, oh. and then he gets the counter hit with a little bit of the guard bar crank. Some yeah. extra damage. Toki looking in prime position to take this second game. Uh oh, comes down. He escapes the corner position. He's got offense now. Toki needs to survive oh, here. Bar chicken him. And there's also no burst for Toki, so if he gets hit, he's going to be in trouble here. Trading with the billiard ball, going to take that space back, trying to set some stuff up, trying to cover his approach. Toki eating two billiard balls now and doesn't have any health left to survive. He got a little point. Heaven or hell. And that's what will happen sometimes. So, one apiece. Winner's finals. Ah, oh, the clean jump in, early burst. Toki just wants to get it, Sparrow start Hawk rebuilding stance, it. Hirsch, wow. Bursting from long distance, completely empty. Emptier than the fans of the X-Men. Damn. It's like that? Yeah. Emptier than the Z fans on E-League? <laughs> oh, just knocks down. He didn't want to tech there. He didn't want to deal with whether he was going to empty in the air. Oh, Ooh, counter hit. Nice. Yeah, caught Toby trying to match the throw that time. A little bit of offense. Resets up there. Gets the air dash. And Toki with the uh, dead angle. Doesn't want to deal with the counter hit. He's got him in the corner now. Guess the wrong angle on the tech. YRC just in neutral, trying to get his bearings. Blocks the overhead this time, but that doesn't mean you get to play just because you block it. Yeah, first round goes to Toki here. <laughs> it's kind of how it's been the whole time. That counter at the start. Tags him, putting out the ball. <laughs> he just clean jumps the ball. He's like, all right, all right. I've seen that one before. Uh, other side, no block. Full 2K afterwards. Charging out the full billiard ball. You don't want to deal with that. He even does a lot of chip. He's able to get it off, but you see Toki playing at oh. that perfect distance and even covering the teleport. Yeah, he was prepared, and there's no no burst for Hershey, right? Because that burst last round, he spent it on nothing. He didn't get any of that burst gauge back. DP, Hershey in a huge deficit here. Does have burst available. Oh my goodness, right back into the Sparrowhawk stance. Goes off for the air throw, throw, yeah. Damn. Toki looking to send a message into those billiard balls, eating too much damage for really just a sloppy neutral play. So in game three, he cleans it up, takes a 2 1 lead, puts himself on tournament point. Or excuse me, grand finals point. Man, that thing goes under everything, but not the billiard ball, huh? <laughs> yeah, you see Toki forced to move oh. forward a little bit more than we usually see. Second part of that actually caught Hirsch there. Exactly. You always got to be aware of that when jumping in on Axel, he can bring. Hello, Renson back. All right, charging up the stance here. Oh, he caught him. Yeah, he, he played chicken with it, and uh, he was right. Yeah, once he gets a little yes notification next to his uh, icon, he will be uh, charging up the unblockable Sparrowhawk stance. All right, That'd both of them spending way. burst now. Just tapping him low, and Toki's relentless. He was just moving forward. YRC allowed him to see that his opponent was in the air, get the clean anti air. Yeah, he has so much bar to play with, right? Not, why not get aggressive? He has the DPRC if he gets got on. We're trying to fish for that angle, see what he can find. Yep, the DP again runs up after the RC, and you mentioned it, right? DPRC, a very important tool to have kind of in that round closing situation, and Toki gets the job done. Match point now. And stuff. Yeah, Hirsch found his way out. Oh, and the 99 second counter starter. Yeah, he's had that a few times. I think that's the first time we've seen it land. Yeah. Big lead already for Toki in this set. Finds a counter hit. Yeah. Hirsch on burst already. Yeah, counter hit 5K, opens above again. Toki keeping these combos. Almost burst safe. Hirsch is holding on to it, though. Could have burst those DPs. Toki with a run up FD, and then he just gets out of there. Has positioning now. Burst is really going to be hard to utilize, too. Yeah. Especially Axel doesn't have to get close. When he only needs this amount of damage to kill you, he can just stay on the other side of the screen, throw the long range specials, and almost go into the Sparrowhawk stance. But Hirsch has his chance until it got snatched away by the DP and the long range anti air from Axel.
Go and her seem to be ready to go. Get right into it. Man, this, is a, this is a crazy pot color. Yeah. Cream oh. The cr cream sickle pot? Yeah. What a despicable character. Is that knockdown? Yeah, he wanted the pot buster. I guess it's a little bit more rustic than cream. Yeah, it's like a rust, rusty pot. Oh, it comes down with the butt, and then the immediate burst from her. She doesn't want to deal with it. It connects, though. He'll, I'm sure he's happy with that. Blitz. Oh, Blitz shield and a great reaction to it, right? Just gets the dash up throw. Oh, but yeah, the Mega Fist backwards. Oh. Yeah, one of that uh, empty whiff into the to the uh, Pop Buster didn't get it. Interesting, using the Trishula to go through the projectile. Oh, IRC and a Pop Buster. Doesn't quite finish him off yet. The Guts keeps him alive until the 6P was there, the shoulder check. Yeah, just leans on him, gets the round. And Hirsch was out of there, right? He was trying to escape <laughs> for his life. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was trying for the empty jump command grab right there, but Hirsch holding up forward. Gets himself out. Burst early from Octo. My man set three billiard balls down on the way back. And deciding what he wants to do with them. Takes a knockdown here. Oh. All right, he's got it in front of him. Yeah, great escape. Didn't even want to deal with it. Yeah, of course, Venom can always teleport to the last billiard ball. He places on screen like right now. Oh, but he just gets the jump over. He's going to end up putting Octo in the corner. However, no solid conversions from either side until the Pop Buster comes into play. Has a safe jump after. Yeah, Hirsch was trying to get out of there. Blitz on his own wake up, but yep, there's a throw. Yeah, Hirsch reacting to those charged blitzes with throws both times. YR sees the billiard ball to convert off the combo if Octo got frisky, which he did. All right, has a setup oh, here, I and think, yeah. I think he tried to wake up with the Trishula again to avoid the projectile. Hirsch this time getting the gold burst. Both players with plenty oh. of meter. YRC's coming out on both sides. Both players now down to about 25, wow. and Hirsch uses his last 25 on the Blitz Shield. Well done. Yeah, brilliant. They were both just burning through meter, as you said, on those YRCs to try to change positioning. All right, get in there, find one final opportunity. All right, Octo drops on him. He's trying to get the Pop Buster. Oh, the Trishula anti-air. ICPM follow-up. Yeah, I like that poke out from Hirsch right there. Knows Octo likes to really uh, prevent those, or yeah, cancel those early and go into the uh, Pop Buster. Exactly, and you don't want to eat those, right? It leads to pretty nasty Oki after and a lot of damage. Oh, counter hits him. Takes the opportunity to set up, runs in, just goes low. Hammerfall, that's right. Hammerfall, yeah. yeah. All right, nice clean ends here. 5P. Heat knuckle follow up. Gains a little bit of space after, caught him moving. Full tension meter on the side of Octo. It's called low, though. Yeah, again, you see him waking up with that Trishula to avoid the projectile. It's putting a meter. He's not choosing a dead angle or spending any of it on defense so far. Just wants it for that offense. Gets clipped, and the immediate burst is coming out. Had to, yeah. He's building up that gauge, though. As you mentioned, that bottom up, you can see it. YRC. Huge amount of meters still, even after that YRC. Trying for the back-to-back -back slide heads, can't find it. Oh, oh hammerfall the he YRC into the anti-air throw. He's got a little bit of bar to work with here. Slide head again, he doesn't cancel it. He's got no burst. Blitz! The blitz shield. Flexes his chest on him, can't quite put Hirsch away just yet. Oh, gets counter hit. He's no got no burst, burst available. available, and that'll do it on the first game. Hirsch closes it. All right, second game. What are you giggling about over there? Is the chat asked a question that the rest of the chat responded with, uh, with no. A, cons a consensual no from the entire chat. Uh-oh, I don't want to Do I, I want to know? No, you don't. All right. Definitely not stream safe. <laughs> 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 All right, Antier is good. He's got pressure low. Oh, right into the dust. And there's the burst. Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with it. It connects, so he gets some of that burst gauge back. Gets over the flick projectile. Yeah, anti jump pop buster. He's gone for that a lot, right? So I think by now he's probably expecting it. All right, reacts with the YRC and then ends up getting the combo for it. It's a really good choice. If you see that pot is armoring through whatever normal you put, uh, did, just YRC right through. And you see the risk of Octo trying to wake up with that Trishula, right? It does manage to avoid the charge on Billiard Ball, but if he messes it up, then he just eats the damage. Oh. And that is a shame. Octo did have his burst available, but really the shame is the full tension bar, right? You never yeah. want to die with full meter. All that meter? You got to spend it on something. Always feels uh, terrible. Oh, counter hit jump in. Yeah, just burst defensively. He didn't want to deal with the knockdown situation. Armor's through. Oh, hammer fall once more. Yeah, that's counter hit too. Corner positioning now. Got him with the heat knuckle. No way. 
He's got RC. Oh, okay. Oh, doesn't quite get close enough to the corner for the Chishun to connect. Looks like he tried to go air to air there. FD him out, runs up, yeah, burst. Yeah, the Billy Ball YRC is such a good strat with Venom, and Octo keeps trying to find ways around it, but he gets tagged almost every time. Oh, Heat oh, Knuckle again. But he was expecting him to jump out of it. Hirsch still living on a pixel until the OTG. Crouch, heavy slash. A crouch does that. So what happens, man, you, you think you can jump out of those pop busters all day, and Octo really hasn't gone for one in a while, right? So yeah. eventually you're just you're gonna hold up back, and then he's gonna catch you with heat knuckles, oh. and then he's gonna pop buster you, and then you don't know what to do with your life. And yeah, heat knuckle follow up, this is a small combo in the corner here. What's next? Oh I, I wish he would have just done it again, but catching Hirsch out of the air. Octo's Reese on the anti-air grabs oh. have been good, and then just the meaty dust. Hirsch doesn't want to go out like that, going to spin his burst. If he blocked that burst, it would have been the end of the world right there. Heartbreaking moment. Yeah, I think we would have just put Octo in the grand finals. Yeah, it would have just been over. The set's done. Yeah. Top 10 anime fights <laughs> of 2017. Top 10 anime deaths. Cool. All right, knocks down in the corner. Still not using the dead angles or any defensive tools to get him off, but it's all right if your opponent messes up their string into the super. Very nice. The super torture rack backbreaker. Good lord. Torture rack's a wrestling move, right? Common? Definitely not. Okay. It's been a while since I've seen wrestling. <laughs> I think that was actually mainly referred to as the super Argentine backbreaker or something like that. Yeah, I mean, back in my day, right? That was like from KOF or some crap. Oh, oh my god, Pop Buster. Yeah. You have to respect that jump in after. You know, you don't want to because you're scared of like empty jump, Pop Buster or something like that. Armored, yeah, he wire seed because he saw that he already got hit. What are you Oshin? giggling about over there? What Octo was trying to do right there to avoid the billiard balls. Like, he was just, like, jumping back and, like, kind of flailing with a, an H. I think he was trying to interrupt the teleport, maybe? It just looked funny. I mean, it's Potemkin oh, player's life. Sometimes you got to try anything, right? Yeah. Oh, did Shula actually duck the jump in? Uh-oh, mix up here. Yeah, tap a little normal out there. Block oh, the burst. Oh, He's burst Let's in that go. situation a lot. There's, yeah. there's been probably maybe twice, three times that has been burst right after that. So it's, it's good of Hirsch to recognize that, right? And even if he was wrong about the block, he would have been back to neutral, which, you know, is not that bad for Venom here. Yeah, you see Octo uh, fishing with those flicks, right? Because when he gets the hit, he gets the opponent to roll all the way into the corner to get that corner situation. However, he has lost that advantage, and Hirsch now... Pressing. Yeah, brutal here. He needs something big. Oh, he's trying to get that jab, it looked like. Try to wake up with the Chishula again. He actually got the beginning animation that time, but I don't think the invincibility dodged it. Caught him in the very last of the, uh, the recovery. Yeah, air to air. There's no burst available for Octo, too. So if he gets hit by this setup, he's pretty much done the blitz. Yeah, but it's a no-go. That's tough. That's tough. I mean, he's... Do you not see the hoodie? What does it say? Oh, depression? Yeah. Damn. It's the life of a pop player, dude. I don't know what you want from me. I, I just calls it how I see it. I didn't know that's what his sweatshirt said. Yeah, you didn't see it? Damn. You're like, what do you mean? I was like, huh? I'm just Ooh. saying, I mean. Oh, oh, I'd be depressed. He put after the hoodie on for a reason. I told you. I'd be depressed after that. Come too, on, right? man. What are you supposed to do? Oh. oh, it just comes down with the jump normal. Let's see if he can get some uh, happiness back into his life. I don't know, though. He's got to deal with some charged-up billiard balls. Yeah, he's going to be right on top of it. Look how much damage Jeez. that did. Yeah, brutal. YRC is down there to keep himself safe. Counter hits him after the uh, drop. Octo, my man, stop dying with full tension. He's got to spend some gauge. That's oh, what I'm talking about. Out of the air. Oh, chased him down. The, uh, what did you say, Argent Armenian backbreaker? <laughs> Something Argentinian. Armenian backbreaker. Argentinian. Like, what, what, <laughs> what, what was what was Eris' wrestler picture? Oh, I don't even remember, Oh, I dude. can't remember what his nickname was. The Armenian pain uh, <laughs> Something slasher? Like that. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I don't know what you said. I don't remember wrestling uh, What I said was, yeah, Argentinian backbreaker. Argentinian, all right. Argentinian. The Ar not the Armenian backbreaker? <laughs> not the Armenian backbreaker. <laughs> I hope that's what Eris delivers to people over in, at DreamHack Denver this week. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's going to be out there. And landed on the ball. Allowed him to charge up for a second there. Flicks him and ends up getting an answer with it instead of oh. hitting the billiard. So IRC to try to keep himself from getting hit by a billiard ball. Couldn't quite recover in time. Looking for the flicks again. Trying to fish for it to counter the billiard ball setup. 
from Hirsch. Oh, but again, the Billy Ball YRC has caught Octo so many times this set. Yep. Knockdown pressure here. If Octo is hit, he has to decide if he wants to spend burst this round or not. Man, so much offense. FDing him out, and he's spending all his bar on defense now. So, yeah, even if Octo found a hit, no meter to work with. Brutal situation. Now match point for Hirsch. Yeah, Hirsch one round away from getting himself back in the grand finals. Getting a run back against some Toki. Oh, clean anti-air. No confirm, but he gets the dust anyway. There's a burst. Connects, so Hirsch has an opportunity now. Oh! oh the 6P. Out of there. Oh, yeah. Fortunate for Octo, though. Couldn't ride that momentum to the entire round. Let Hirsch switch the sides on him. Charged up Billiard. Doesn't try to wake up with the Chitrula this time. Tried for the walk-up throw, but Octo ends up getting a gold burst to avoid it. Yeah, full bar to work with now. Oh, all, he really it. wanted it. Yeah. But Hirsch RC. has been pretty consistently holding that up back, right? Even if it means getting hit by a bunch of anti-air grabs. He'll trade those against getting hit by one Potemkin Buster. Ooh, good block there. That was crucial for Octo. He's trying to chase him down now. Gets the air throw. Wanted it again. And same thing. He's done that every single time. Armor punish. FDing him out now. Spending a little bit of that bar. Yeah, you see Hirsch doesn't even... Uh Oh, YRC, the billiard ball that time, but Octo still got hit by it. Chishula that time to try to spoil the party, but can't convert for the full combo. I think it's over. First. Up. Yeah. You had to know. You had to know what was coming, right? In that situation. Uh, when does Arc Rebel start? Like this weekend, right? This weekend or next weekend, I believe. I know that all the U.S. boys are out there. Yeah, big shout outs to Kizzy Kid. That Viper Kizzy picture of him in Bears. Japan. Oh my god. The glasses? God. The glasses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the glasses are so good. I forgot what the caption was, too. He was like, we doing it out yeah, here in Tokyo. Japan. Yeah, we out of Tokyo. <laughs> hey, we out like, here in Tokyo. Kizzy! <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. Man, corner pressure for Tokyo. Right? We're over here yapping, and he's halfway to Tokyo. <laughs> YRC trying to start something up for Hurst there. Oh There's the god. challenge from Tokyo. Didn't get the combo he was looking for, though, off the RC. A lot of meter committed. Ends up having to burst, too. And the anti air is there this time. Toki well, keeping that pressure on, of course. Wire seeing it, and then, yeah, bringing that Renton back into the skies when Hirsch dashes in. And then, as soon as you think you can take your turn, nah. My man Toki said, nah. 99 second counter attempt again. He's seen that a lot in this set. <laughs> yeah, I think he's just been trying to discourage uh, Hirsch from using the, the long billiard normals, the long pool stick normals of Lucille. the name of the stick, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Oof. Good That's block the name on the, the jump rope. The pool stick from Fresh Prince, by the way. Not the actual lore of this. Oh, I don't want really? you. Yeah, I don't want you to go to some anime player and no, be like, oh, I yeah, wouldn't, I wouldn't. Seal. And then they're going to look at you like an you idiot. You know how I am about <laughs> lore, right? I don't really, you know, it's not my specialty. All right. Batman exactly. and Robin, best friends forever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's just like the Eminem video. Oh, nice. First man side switch from Toki. Again, Hirsch, though, with the empty burst, is not going to build any type of it back. I don't have any hopes of that. And, yeah, just the Renson pressure from far away. Tried to get the walk-up throw. But we've seen Hirsch hold up back against Pot and ah. Toki. Tried to bait the burst right there. Gets there the it DP, is. And Toki will commit to it after failing on the DP attempt. Yeah, we saw Hirsch end his combo early because of that. Uh oh brutal situation. Toki having to FD to live here. He might uh, ran right into that. Poked him in the eye. Poked him in the jorts, it looks like. <laughs> what was he hitting him there? The bloomers? What the was bloomers. he tagging? <laughs> the bloomers. The bloomers? I don't know, oh, man. Yeah. People want Sakura back because she has bloomers, you know? The same <laughs> same kind of thing. Maybe people really like Toki likes them for his bloomers. Oh my god. You know how it is. These anime players, they I like. I really do feel like every Axel player defends those jorts. Those jorts, man. Oh, yeah. Bloomers are for dudes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Gets to the other side. And now Toki gets the knockdown early. YRC as Hirsch takes to the sky, trying to avoid that ground pressure. And you see Toki not really being discouraged by it, just continuing to press his horizontal almost for Hirsch to come down into. Oh, he couldn't bring it back in time for the anti-air. Hirsch actually tagged him, but I guess he didn't believe in the full combo. Nice dash up into the side switch throw. All right, burst available for Toki here. So he's got it as an option. DP is out of there. That's an okay risk to take when you're sitting on burst and a lot of bar. Oh, yeah, he had the gold burst there. So now a lot of resources for Hirsch. So many resources. 
it's coming around. Caught Tolkien out of the air. He's still sitting on a lot of bar. Yeah, YRC, Sparrowhawk stands, and that's enough. My man, Toki was not about to play those games. You know how I know that was a stressful match? We only saw his bottom row of teeth. You couldn't see the top row at all, just the pearly whites on the bottom? That's scary. That's a brutal situation. Early burst. Trying to get out of there. Both of them spending it and uh, build a little bit of that gauge back. We got an honorable match for the rest of the round. Honorable. Honorable. No burst. You get hit, you got to hold that. Oh, caught him trying to escape out of that corner, but he forward texts and makes it out anyway. And Toki trying to snipe him out of the air. Looked like maybe he wanted an air throw. Yeah, Hirsch is holding up back against a lot of uh, his opponents, right? He's been pretty effective against Pot, obviously, and it's found its uses against Toki. But again, he really hasn't been able to take a life lead for his own, right? And yeah, Toki, we can see him really rushing in, right? It's very rare that you see him have to do this, but obviously a little outmatched in terms of, you know, controlling the neutral in the way he wants, especially without a life lead. Yeah. He's got to build a lead first, so Toki has to run in a lot of the time here. Counter at the start. Again, just discouraging Hirsch. He hasn't been making him pay, right? Like, yeah. he's been starting at the 99 seconds, and Hirsch hasn't really made him eat a fat combo or eat a setup to the corner or anything like that, so he's just going to keep doing it. Oh, didn't get the combo off the air dash. YR sees it. That's a pickup for Hirsch. Toki's close to burst here. DP challenge again. It's counter hit. He runs up. He's got a lot of space to work with now. Plus bar. Oh, yeah, just let Hirsch think for a second. He gets it out that billiard ball, but immediately interrupting it. That one actually traded, and he missed on the anti-air attempt. Yeah, charged up shot, trying to make it in there. It's Hirsch's last opportunity. He needs this round. Toki looking to close it out. Mix up no combo. He was a little too high on the head. And that'll do it. Toki snipes him. Up 2-0 in this grand finals here. Train Hirsch to think that he'd be able to move afterwards until the last uh, attack of that round. Good stuff. Oh, DP was a whiff. And then, yeah, kind of panicky burst from Toki. Makes it out of there. He's willing to take those risks. I think he feels confident enough that he'll be okay. Although there's the knockdown now for Hirsch. A lot of offense, Toki jumps out of it, spends the YRC to look for more offense, but Toki had already sort of gotten above and around him. Oh, throws the tag. Yeah, Hirsch looking for some different formations, trying to find a formation and a billiard ball setup that will keep him safe from the DPs, right? A lot of time he ends up getting too close and leaving those gaps where Toki just pokes out. Oh, like DP that. challenge again. Hirsch keeps running up and Toki's just letting it rip. He had no bar. No meter, no uh, burst, in case it didn't go his way. Oh. Had him on ahead. Oh, but Toki says, you can do it, I can do whoa, it whoa, better. Whoa. You see that camera angle for a second there? The right up his bloomers. <laughs> the billiard ball in the way, I didn't know what I was looking at. Whoa. I was got a little concerned. How many billiard balls were there? There was too many. <laughs> too, too many. I was all right. I'll tell you that. YRC has got offense. Burst available for Toki. Oh, yeah, Hirsch did have the momentum this round so far. Toki does have his burst available as well, but we're back to the neutral. Oh, wow, finds the anti air. And significant life lead for Hirsch, but Toki is going to spin that burst. Wants to play a little bit more this round, and he's going to get to with the counter hit. Yeah, he's not too far out of this now. That was a big pickup for him. If he can keep this corner. The anti air 2S. Burst is available now for Hirsch, though. If, yeah, he can make him spend that, which I think Toki is oh. totally fine with. On the way back, a lot of bar now for Toki. R sees it. And I, I really like Toki recovering from the burst with an air dash YRC, right? A great way to interrupt the opponent's anti-air attempt. Who comes down with a normal. This is Toki's last chance. I thought the DP was coming. I thought that we were about to see a level oh, 99 DP. Level 99 oh, DP. Does oh, two in a row. Pokes him out of it. Still needs oh, to runs out. up and eats it. Yeah, man, those uppercuts were... He was wilding out. I was waiting for it. You knew it was oh, coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be on the jump in from Hirsch, honestly. Yeah, those, those grand finals DPs? Were, no way he would do it again. <laughs> oh, caught him low. Stood up at the last second. Get some chip there. And Toki trying to FD. If you can make him FD and spend all his resources defensively like that, you'll, you'll be okay with it. Oh, look for the combo out of the air. Didn't find it. Toki with the corner positioning. He's got to guess where the tech is going to be at the end of this. No tech. 
Man, he's so good at reacting and kind of re reflective. Oh, oh, man, that burst. Yeah, it looked like Hirsch was trying to go for like a delayed OTG type burst. He okay. Gets off of him, but he blocks Tokis now. Still very even match. Oh, oh the DP. You see a whiff. No There's burst available. A lot of meter for Toki. And it's the jump in. All right. So Hirsch is back on the board. Oh, there's a lot. Normal is broken. Honestly, it's broken. Needs to be nerfed. Oh, I tried to chase him down with the overhead setup. Oh, but it finds the gap again. Now, Hirsch was even a good character distance away that time, but that DP has deceptive horizontal range on him. It's the power of belief. I'm telling you, they're unblockable. Oh, couldn't catch the angle. He comes down with the FD anyway, so he would have been able to block. Oh, caught him out of the air. This is going to be okay now for her. She had space to work with there. All right, YRC in the air. Comes down on top, and Toki with the no anti-air. Whiffs two DP, oh, three DPs. Goodness. Count them. The third one was the charm that time. Finds the hit, finally. Interrupts the billiard ball setup that time. So he's got a lot of work to do to get back in this match, though. With the cross up jump in. It looked like Hirsch was going to be able to finish it, but it took a little bit more time than he thought. Still takes the round, regardless. Yeah, we got a look. It looks like Toki getting a little antsy. Uh, trying to close this out. Maybe he wants to get home before uh, 2 a.m. Don't blame him. Yeah, the man is from San Diego. It takes a while to get there and back. Yeah, for sure. Long ride back home. Especially if you lose. If you get second after being in Winterside Grand Finals. That's a very long ride home. Long, long ride home. <laughs> Low profile there for Toki. Yeah, we see um, not too many uh, incidences of Hurst like getting the air dash in right, but whenever they do, uh, Toby's always ready with the 2K, crouch 2K to pro uh, low profile it. All right, burst out of there. And uh, Hurst with a round on the board, uh, you know, kind of ahead here, so the burst not a bad idea. This round's pretty close still. Oh, that uppercut, man. I'm so curious what his hit rate is. On the DPs? Yeah, hit or whiff rate, not block rate. Oh, he caught it preemptively. He knew where the ball was, so the teleport. Yeah. He guessed where it was going to be. And we saw Hirsch do that setup before, but YRC it, right? And the YRC is what allowed him to avoid the anti air the first time. See, Toki trying to find that last hit. Look for the low profile. And dead angle. Yeah, this time no uppercut, right? He didn't want to take the risk. And oh, yeah. And Hirsch bet it all on that last air dash in right there, but Toki was there with the stand normal. Dabs up Hanoi on the way out. Yeah, Pinoy ran up in the middle of a grand finals <laughs> match. Like he, and Tokyo was like, what are you doing, man? You got two hours to talk to him on the ride back. <laughs> Why in the middle of grand finals? Don't ever trust a Bison player. Again, you see the small time, the small instances where he does air dash in. And right there as well, low profiling the billiard balls with that 2K from Axel. Again. You. Regular jump, bro. Think it's going to be nerfed next patch. <laughs> Patching it out. <laughs> DP is blocked. There wasn't an opportunity to punish. We'll try to do a challenge with low problem oh, again, he... but oh, reliable. The DP is there. RC for the full combo as well. Oh, other side there, yep. Yeah. Opportunity now for Hurst. Charges it up. YRC is for offense here. Oh, oh. fake out into the low. Yes, it's brutal now. Toki's in trouble. He's getting close to this burst, though. He's got one more guess. Trades. Got a trade, but he can't Got a burst. Get full get burst. Back. This is the burst. Yo, Hirsch. That is the true tech right there. 2 2 in grand finals. Oh my god. Needs this one. That was gross. Ooh. Oh, full oh. loops in the corner this time. Make him, make him pay. All right, block on the dust. A lot of offense from Toki. This is a big round for him so far. If he can get Hurst to blow the burst and close it out, this would be, you know, probably the most optimal round he could ask for, right? Absolutely. Hurst still has to win one game before resetting the grand finals. Toki looking to take a round here and put himself on tournament point. See his pressure actually finds the way out this time. Setting up the billiard ball into the air dash. Toki wasn't ready with the anti air himself. But again, now with just a pixel of health left, you see him poking with the long range normals. And if you want to dash in after that, you better bait that DP, my friend. It's coming out. It's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> he reacted to his own face on there. <laughs> yeah, Toki looking much more comfortable here. 
in this match. That's really what he wanted here, especially if he can clean out this burst early in the round. Yeah, absolutely. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about baiting it later. He just gets to play his normal game. And Hershey, yeah, I can't really burst any of those long range normals and specials. He will just end up with no burst, no knockback. Yeah. yeah, brutal. Nice and short from Toki. Not even giving him an opportunity to escape this pressure. There's a burst. Spend some of his bar already and Hirsch down a lot of resources and a lot of life. <laughs> Local find the billiard ball once again with a 2K. Hirsch got a lot of work to do, but he has the corner situation now. Toki does have his burst available. Gets caught. Trying to jump out with the ground normal. Was it immediately FDing as soon as he left the floor? Progress rate is blocked. Good block there. Toki has not let the DP rip yet. Four tech. He's got meter to work with, too. Goes low that time, and there it is. After a couple of games looking a little scary, Toki closed it out. He's your WNF Guilty Gear champion. Yeah. Four dot. Six dot.